All right, guys, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and I'm actually thinking I might want to buy cheap DC um, cordless drills. I've seen them as low as $50. Buy those, and then take it apart extract the batteries, extract the motor, those two alone are worth way more than 50 and that would be like an 18 volt motor, really powerful and I could power that directly from an Arduino so whenever my servo wants to turn it will start turning and if it detects tension whereas it's struggling based upon tension um, strain gauges, it can automatically have the Arduino respond to that by activating the DC drill motor and when the drill motor kicks on it, it will give a ton more power to whatever muscle is straining at that time. So we're talking about very powerful motors designed to have high speed and torque for a fraction of the cost and they can be called for in demand whenever the servo needs more oomph than he already has. Now for certain muscles like the thighs or legs that might be all the time, like every time. But then for other muscles it might only be some of the time. And so what he'll do is he'll just kick on that drill motor for a short while to get that burst of energy and and then it'll turn it off right away and I think yeah I think that would be a great way to amplify what the servos I already have can do on an as-needed basis so I'm thinking of doing that power drill motors Harvesting them from cheap power drills, using that for the robot. I think, you know, and I'm not the first one to do that. I read about another robot doing that, but I'll, or another robot maker doing that. I think it was like a, a, a group of people, though. And I remember when I read that three years ago, maybe, I thought to myself, how the heck did they turn motors from a power drill into robot motors like how do they even know how to do that taking apart a drill all this stuff but I actually know how to like do that kind of stuff now I'm getting more and more knowledgeable on electronics and I feel that I actually could pull that off at this point so with knowledge comes a lot more flexibility Drill motors use a lot of power? Well, they use a lot of power because they are powerful. And I need power, and I mean tremendous power, in order for my robot to be able to do running, jumping, walking, dancing. And that will only be a reserve power for when he needs to be like, ah, Hulk mode, you know, to actually stand up from a chair. You wouldn't believe how much energy that takes the human body. And actually, maybe you do. When you get out of your chair, it's isn't it unpleasant for you? Like You're like, ah. I mean, you really feel like it takes a lot of work to stand up. And when you're an old man, you can barely even stand up. So it takes a lot of energy. And that's why I think drill batteries are the key. I think they're the way to go. They are very high energy. And to get any kind of motor with that level of burst energy, just raw power and speed, a motor like that would cost you like $200. And I can get the motor plus the battery for 50 bucks because it's a cordless drill. So many people buy drills that the supply and demand works. It's a buyer's market. It's such a common item that the price is super reasonable including the battery for me to buy 18 volt battery that wasn't drill battery man that would cost like 
30 bucks, 40 bucks, at 50 bucks. And then for the charger, that's another 30 bucks at 60. And then for the servo, it's or for that motor itself, that'd probably be like a hundred. That's 160 dollars worth of components in a 50 dollar drill because it's a drill. So you get all that free stuff because it's a drill. Everything's cheap.